Hi, I'm Kat Weichsel from Pate Group, and today I want to share a SharePoint tip about grouping by content type. So first I need to give credit where credit is due. I did not learn about this on my own. I went to uh, a blog post by Mark Anderson. He is a Microsoft MVP, you may have heard of him. And he shared this, and I think he actually learned it from someone else who commented on his blog post from 2018. So we are learning new things in the SharePoint community and sharing them out. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about the SharePoint community. Uh, we enjoy sharing knowledge. So I'm hoping by doing this little video tutorial to reach some new people and show you what I've learned and how this works. So if you have used content types in SharePoint, you may know that for a long time now, we have not had an easy way to group in views by content type. We can group by all kinds of other columns, but not by content type. Well, let me show you what we are used to seeing. Uh, if you go up to your library settings, you go down and you look at maybe creating a view. You have all these different options when you're trying to do grouping all the way at the bottom. So lots of columns here to choose from. But if you'll notice, we're up in the C's here, there is no content type option. And this library surely uses multiple content types. So I'm gonna show you how you do this in modern. Um, if you come to the add column area in your modern view here, and go to, you see this thing that says content type, and please read Mark's article to learn even more about this because he goes over what you find when you click on this. But to actually display it and do the grouping, you just come to show hide columns. And here, unlike in the classic settings, as you scroll down, these aren't in alphabetical order, <laughs> uh, but you see content types here. And you can select it and go up and say apply, and voila. Our content types are now on display. To group by the content type, you simply come back, click the drop down, and go to group by content type. And now you have a nice view that is grouping by content types. Now, obviously, I only have three files in here, but if you had a lot of files, a lot of different content types, this might really come in handy. Something I learned as I was playing around with this, and I'm not sure if Mark saw this or not uh, when he was testing it out. But when I, because I often don't like to do group by and display that same column in the view. Um, I just think it's, you know, redundant. So I normally don't display the column. And if I come here and go to show hide columns and uncheck content type and click apply, it removes the column from here, but notice that my grouping is still there. And even if I refresh the browser, it stays. So I don't know why or how, but I'm happy. Uh, I can set this up this way and get that grouping to stick without displaying that column. Now again, notice if you go back, I'm gonna go a different way this time um, to edit your current view. I'm gonna just come right through this menu and say edit current view takes me back to that classic looking edit view page. And you might think, okay, now we're grouping by content type. So when I come in here, it's gonna show that, right? Mm -mm. It says it's not grouped by anything. And when you come in here yet again, you cannot see content type. So I'm not even sure if Microsoft is aware of this, <laughs> um, but when I go ahead and click cancel or okay with that, um, it then, winds up saving that particular change and removes that grouping from there. So that's how you could clear it if you did what I did earlier. Uh, again, this is just discovery, playing around. So um, to try it out, but if you have been desperate to group by content type and really been struggling with no out of the box option for it, now you know that you can do that in modern SharePoint. I hope this helps.